Much education today is monumentally ineffective. All too often we are giving young people cut flowers when we should be teaching them to grow their own plants. On the 3rd of December 2019, the Program for International Student Assessment PISA, released its latest findings on global student ability. The assessment measured 15-year-olds' performance in science, reading and maths for 79 participating countries. In total, more than 600,000 students participated, with 14,273 students being assessed from 740 Australian schools. The results were not good. Australia has been slipping in the ranks ever since PISA was first performed back in 2000. The only good news is that there was a slight uptick in Australian students' reading ability, but I emphasise the word slight. It's nothing to write home about. Australia performed a little bit better than the OECD average in reading and science, but exactly average when it comes to maths. Australian students are certainly years behind the top performer China. It should be noted, however, that mainland China only included the provinces of Beijing, Shanghai, Jiangsu and Zhejiang, provinces where regional restrictions are in place. Basically, only wealthier local families can send their children to high school, skewing these results. It would be like only including private grammar schools in Australia and saying that that represents the average Australian. Looking at the country ranks in detail, in terms of reading, Australian students did okay. We're sitting around the same level as countries like New Zealand, United States, UK and Japan, and significantly above the OECD average. For maths, we're not doing so well. We're just sitting above the OECD average, having similar levels to countries like Latvia, Iceland and Russia. Australians performed the equivalent of more than three and a half years of schooling lower than the top performer China. In terms of science, the results don't look too bad. We're on par with countries like the UK, Netherlands, Germany and so on. However, the findings found that within Australia, there is quite a big disparity. In terms of socio-economic status, wealthy Australians are outperforming poorer Australians by almost three years. That is, a student from a low socio-economic background is on average three school years lower than their rich counterparts. The differences in gender are only slight, with girls outperforming boys in reading. However, the differences between states is quite significant, with an almost two-year difference between the top performing states and the lowest performing ones. We can see here that the top performing state in all categories is the ACT, no surprises there, thanks politicians, with the Northern Territory and Tasmania consistently being the worst performers. In my opinion, the issue with Australia isn't its global rank, but rather the educational disparity within Australia. We've allowed the wealthy to have access to a better education, and that's not good for Australia. It doesn't just hurt poor people, but Australia as a whole, and public policy is to blame. The Australian federal and state governments are entirely responsible for diverting funds away from public education and pumping it into an already wealthy private school sector. Of course, the political blame game has already begun. Federal Education Minister Dan Tehan said that PISA results should have alarm bells ringing. He said, The time has come for us to change direction. My message to the state and territory education ministers is this. Leave the teachers' union talking points at home and be ambitious. Opposition party Labor's Tanya Plibersek unsurprisingly blamed the current leadership. She said, This should be a huge wake-up call for Scott Morrison and the Liberals, who've seen school test scores plummet on their watch. To be fair, both major parties have left Australian education in the lurch. Assessment results have been steadily tracking downwards over the last couple of decades. Maybe instead of playing the political blame game, we should instead focus on our children's education and fix this mess. Mm -hmm.